everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie aka Angie's Mood. If you're new here, I make all types of beauty, fashion, DIY and art videos so if that's something you're interested in then please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So today's video is kind of different because I'm going to be showing you guys my vinyl collection and I'm also going to be showing you guys my record player. So I just got a new one so it's also going to be kind of an unboxing type of video where I unbox my brand new record player and I kind of review it for you guys. I think I'm going to do the unboxing first and then we'll go on to the vinyl collection. I do have a high number of vinyls so like I have almost 87 records um but i'm gonna go through them pretty quick so that you guys can see what i have and i'm really excited to show you guys everything also sorry if i look tired but i have like a lot of allergies so that's why i look kind of tired right now so yeah please excuse my face so this is my new record i'm gonna unbox it for you guys really quick i'm really excited um my old one got ruined i used to have the victrola um record player but it got really old because i've had it for a couple of years now and it was pretty cheap too so usually with old record players like they come become worn out um as time passes so i thought it was time to get a new one So I moved my camera back a little bit so you guys can kind of get a good glimpse of what I'm doing. So I just took it out the box and then it comes in like another box. So it came with like this pamphlet. Okay, so I was really struggling to get out the box but I finally was able to get it out. So I'm going to take it out of like the bag. love the way it's like built and everything like you could just tell the quality is gonna be so good it also came with this record cleaning kit and i thought that was so cool because my old record player did not have any of that so as you can see it has like these little brushes the brand that i got it by the way is music public kingdom so as you can see it says it right there so i'm gonna try to play one of my records so we can see the quality and see how good it is so the record i'm gonna be using for that is my beatles let it be record so i'm just gonna test it out on there As you can see, the quality sounds amazing. Um, my old record player definitely did not sound like that. And I love that this one comes with its built-in speakers and it also has Bluetooth. Let's stop talking about it. Um, you guys saw the record player, saw how good it is. So yeah, that's my record player. Um, as you can see, I'm really happy that I have a new one now. So we're gonna move on to the collection part of the video. All right, so now as you can see, I have all my records here. Um, I have a lot of records and I also have some more in here so we're gonna go through all of them really quick so first one as you saw is the Let It Be Beatles record I actually think this was my first record that I got now that I think about it well brand new because I did have some before that my dad had gave me it's really sentimental to me because it was one of my first ones and I really really love the Beatles they're like my favorite band ever so that's why I have so many albums i think i have almost all of them i'm not gonna say all because i don't have all of them but yeah i do have most of their albums the next album that i have is the beatles white album um this is like one of my favorite beatles albums ever um as you can see it opens up like that i'm gonna show you guys like this and it does it is a double album so it does come with both albums but what i love about this one is that it did come with so many cool things inside so it came with like the prints of the artists one day i want to frame these and hang them up but for now they're gonna stay in here it also came with like this huge poster which i don't feel like showing right now because i just have so many to go through that i don't feel like you know going through everything but yeah that's just 
that one so it did come with both albums and yeah the next album is my pink floyd the wall album i also love pink floyd so this album my boyfriend gave to me and yeah it's like one of my favorite albums he gave it to me last christmas and it was such a cute gift because i had been wanting this album for so long so this is also a double album so it opens up like that and i don't think this one came with any posters or anything but coincidentally the album after that is my other pink floyd album this is also a double album it opens up like that so this one did come with a lot of posters um i have one of them right here i'll open this one up because i really really like this poster i used to have it up on my wall for a long time but then i took it down it's just like the pink floyd poster so it has them all just like there so i mentioned that this is a double album but i just checked and it's actually one um out like record and now that i do remember this one did come with some stickers but i used those stickers for something else so this one did come with like a lot of things inside it so i so my next album is a little more modern it's a uh, wallows album so back so yeah i love wallows they're like another one of my favorite bands i got this one i think at urban outfit yeah i got this one at urban outfitters and this one did come with a poster as well um so the back i mean the front looks like that it just has them there and then i love the back because it has the lyrics to all the songs in the album so next album is my lana del rey album this i think was my first lana del rey album one of my best friends gave it to me for my birthday it just looks like that and it did come with a poster i'm not sure if it's in here oh yeah it is and then on the back it has like the lyrics to all her songs as well album also has a lot of sentimental value because it was my first lana del rey album also one of my close friends gave it to me so okay next one i think this was my second beatles album that i got honestly i lost track but it is the beatles abbey road as you can see very iconic beatles album very basic beatles album but i love it this next beatles album is actually my favorite one of all time the Y album is like my second favorite, but this is my favorite one. And it's the Beatles Sgt. Peppers. So it opens up like that. And I love how it looks with all of them just sitting there, with the bright colors. And it has also all the lyrics to all the songs. This one did come with a lot of things in it when I purchased it in the beginning. It came with all of these like cardboard cutouts. I have never used them because I really don't know what i would use them for but i thought it was pretty cool that they it came with that and it did come with like this thing it was like sorry it's like a pamphlet or something this one is another lana del rey album i bought this one myself at a record store that my boyfriend took me to and i had to purchase this album because i saw it there and you know i want to get more lana del rey albums but albums are pretty expensive so yeah and it just comes like that with the songs in the back now the right in the front and this one didn't come with anything special it's just a normal record so that's another lana del rey this next one i also got at that same record store and it's the rolling stones aftermath album this is just so iconic it's the painted black cover so you know it comes with the songs back here it's that record store buys old albums and resells them that's why this one looks um like all worn out and stuff next one i also got at that same record store i think i just have like a like have them in order or something but yeah i got this impressions um record it's a very very old um band as you can see they're from the 50s but i love some of their songs so yeah they have a lot of songs that i like right there and it was only eight dollars so that's why i also got it because that record store always has a lot of stuff. next album i have is this uh jimi hendrix album it has all the best songs of jimi hendrix so i love jimi hendrix so i was really excited about this one it just opens up like that and i like that it comes with like a lot of pictures of Jimi hendrix in the middle it's just like so cool and it has not the lyrics but it talks about each song and how he made it and why like you know just talking about the song and stuff which i thought was really nice the back as well this next album is a Bee Gees album. This one was handed down to me by my dad also. So it has like a lot of classics from the Bee Gees, like You Should Be Dancing. And then it has um, them in the front. Oh yeah, Boogie Child is another song I like. So just another vintage classic 
that I have there. This one is a flock of seagulls. I bought this one at the record store as well. As you can see, it was only $5. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I couldn't pass up because I love flock of seagulls. Um, I love 80s music, as you can see. So I thought I had to buy this because it has such classics like Wishing If I Had a Photograph of You, It's Not Me Talking, so it has the songs down here, and then it just came with just a record. So. That was a really, really good steal that I got. This next one, I think my boyfriend bought this one. Um, it's the Jimi Hendrix Experience. It's like a classic Jimi Hendrix album. Mm -hmm. This is like one of my favorite albums from Jimi Hendrix. This next album is a Black Sabbath album. My dad also handed me down this one. So it does open up also. Another Beatles album, of course, it's the Help album. So yeah, it has all the songs, has them in the back. When I first got it, I remember playing it so many times, um, just like on repeat. And that's usually what I do when I get a new record. I don't know if anyone else does that. If you do that, comment below. If you just play the same record over and over again when you get a new one. I don't know, I do that a lot, so. Next one is one that I got also at the record store. This one was also $5 and it's an old one. It's from the OJs. So it opens up like that. You can see they're like a band from like the 60s or 70s. Next album is my Tyler the Creator album. I love Tyler the Creator. Um, and this album is so good. It's like one of my favorite albums by him. And he said he took some sick photos to put on here, but his agents or whatever said that it couldn't happen. So he took cell phone pics to put on the middle. So as you can see, he put album photos go here. And he put love you next time and put a sad face. So that's pretty funny. Remember it came with a sticker? But I used that sticker for something else as well, and it was just a sticker of the front cover. It came with this like poster, but then the poster is mostly just like all the song lyrics. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. All the song lyrics in the back, and then this side has the B. And yeah, another Beatles album, of course. Um, I got the Rubber Soul album, and this one didn't come with anything either. I think yeah. This one didn't come with anything, it's just the record itself. This is my boyfriend's album, he bought it and I don't play it, I'm not a big fan of this. But it's a big L 90s rapper, you know. So yeah, I really don't have much to say about this, but it's literally, it comes with two albums in it. If you're into like that 90s rap type of thing, this one's pretty cool because it came with two albums. I don't remember how much it was, it doesn't really say it because I think he did buy it brand new so it was still like wrapped and everything. And we bought it at the record store, I remember. So, yeah, that's that one. Next ones I have are, usually, are mostly either hand-me-downs or some that I bought at the record store that were old and recycled that I just felt like picking up because of the price. So, this is a Madonna album my dad handed me down. It has a lot of classics as well, like Papa Don't Preach, um, True Blue, Open Your Heart. I mean, it just has so many good songs and you can see it's madonna next one i think i also bought at the record store um it is this john lennon and yoko ono i got it because i love a song on here called, called nobody told me so but yeah i thought it was so cute and i love uh that song so yeah and i've heard it a couple times it does have some songs by yoko ono on here too so it's just like both of them singing in it but this one only comes with one album this one is another john lennon um collection it's in like spanish i don't know why but um, it has some classics in it as well like imagine jealous guy i think this is his best hits um now that i look at it because it does have so many of these classes like woman so i'll let you guys just look at that I do have another like modern one as well that i got a while back when i got my record player this is the death of a bachelor by panic at the disco you can see it has the songs in the back the next one is janice joplin's greatest hits i bought this one brand new as well so yeah i really like this one i also have the cd because i do like to um play cds in my car here and there so i'm trying to like start a collection of cds also as you can see i'm pretty like old school when it comes with music and stuff Next one is a hand-me-down for my dad. It's an ACDC. I love ACDC as well. Don't really listen to them as much as I used to, but I do still like them. Jane just has a lot of their good songs on here. This is a very vintage, old, old album that my dad had when he was younger. So a lot of these are albums that, the ones that my dad has handed me down to me, they're ones that he had when he was younger. So it is so cool to have those myself. Next one is another hand-me-down. It's Kiss. 
So yeah, I don't have much to say about that because the song names are in Spanish, so I can't really talk about it that much. But you know, pretty cool. It's double platinum. Also, my dad gave me. It comes with the two records, of course, and it just opens up like that. It I have this one by Howard Jones. It's an '80s um, singer a song that I really, really like called "Things Can Only Get Better." So if you've heard like '80s music, you've probably heard that song before. It's what it looks like. This one I bought also from that place. It's like 15 super hits from 88. That's what it says there, basically. Um, so I'll show you, I'll tell you guys what songs this one has on. Change Love by Depeche Mode, Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses, I Found Someone by Cher, um, Alphabet Street by Prince, I Don't Wanna Live Without You by Foreigner. So it just has a lot of classics that I thought I would pick up because the price is really good. So as you can see, the back has Cher right there. So, I mean, why not right uh, what i don't really listen to ringo Starr's music but you know since i like the beatles you know i had to get it because it's ringo star so i'm gonna open it so y'all can see what that looks like and also it was at a really really good price so i couldn't pass up on it i'm pretty sure it was less than five dollars a lot of old pictures just like pictures of paul mccartney um in here with ringo so yeah it's a lot of paul mccartney and ringo this one i also got and it is also super random it just it's it was some type of concert that they did back in the day so it has a lot of famous artists like earth wind and fire september by them um donna summer abba chiquitita if you've heard that song by abba um olivia new and john bgs so you know i thought it was cool because it had like all those famous singers i have heard it before and it literally is a concert so it is a little annoying because you hear like just like everything from the concert like the announcer and like the whole crowd but i mean it's kind of cool if you want to feel like you're at a concert but not really my taste in music when i want to just like listen to something to chill i don't feel like feeling i don't feel like being in a concert this one is deep purple so i do like deep purple a lot they have one of my favorite songs burn so i'll let you guys look at that uh it comes with yeah burn mistreated so you can see whole band there another black sabbath so here we are this was also a hand-me-down for my dad i think most of these are i think almost all of these are yeah all of these are just basically hand-me-downs for my dad so you know i'm not gonna really go that much into it as like i was before this one kiss um it has the classic song i was made for loving you so if you don't like kiss you probably heard that song one way or another so yeah got that kiss as you can see my dad really likes kiss um so there's that it's very very cool it's a grease so it just has a whole grease in there this one i'm pretty sure was supposed to come with two records um like it says side one side two all the way to side four but unfortunately i only have one because he doesn't know what happened to the other one it's from basically like the 80s and all that when the movie came out this is um a cheap trick uh album from the 80s um so yeah it just has them there i like some of their songs but i haven't really listened to them that much this one is from like a spanish 80s artist that i don't really know my dad just kind of gave it to me to listen to but i haven't really listened to it that much like i should um so it just kind of sits there but i like kind of having these albums like i said i already know who this is it says gary glitter so if you guys know who that is you would probably now this one is a 30 piano favorite so very nice to have you know just if i want to put music to kind of do homework or study i thought why not you know play some piano in the back kiss i didn't even realize i have this one wow so this is another kiss album as you can see it's all like in spanish this is a random one it's like a 70s disco thing so you can see the front and then the back i've listened to this one a couple times but not really much my taste so that's all my larger albums um well the regular size i forgot what it's called um now i have this little case of smaller albums quick story about this um my boyfriend actually found this while he was working he gave it to me because he knows that since i have a record player um you know i can maybe put some good use to, into it so a lot of these i don't really know who they are or what it is i'm gonna kind of show you guys what i like the ones that i know of the rest i won't really show because i'm pretty sure if i don't know them you guys might not know them first one is from the who so you can see 
and most of these they're small because it's just one song so or two songs yeah so it's one song one on each side so two in total so this one has you better bet and then you better you bet and then the quiet one but this one is so famous i've played this song so many times because i love this song it's le freak by chic so you probably heard this one bill summers and bill summers heat again don't know who that is but stevie wonder um that's kind of interesting i don't really listen to stevie wonder like that but that's one that's there so this is from wings um wings if you don't know is a band that paul mccartney was in um after the beatles so uh, there's a lot of wings in here so that's kind of cool you know paul mccartney's in it so yeah it even says the bottom produced by paul mccartney um we got andy gibbs so this is get down by melody store you probably heard the song i've heard the song millions of times on the radio andrew gold I'm um, not too familiar with him, but I do know he's a little famous, so, you know, you might know who that is. Casey and the Sunshine Band, you've probably heard them before as well. Um, it has the songs Keep It Coming Love and Baby I Love You. Another Stevie Wonder, um, I'd Be a Fool Right Now, and Yester Me, Yester You, Yesterday. But I think that's it, you guys. Um, I'm not really gonna go, like I said, into depth into these smaller ones because a lot of these I have no idea who they are. So if you guys want me to do like a more in depth one, I definitely will. But for now, I think I'm just gonna stop it here because this video was already a little bit long with the whole unboxing and everything. Maybe this gave you a little bit of inspiration to buy some records yourself for your record player or to buy a new record player. Like I said, you know, I'm really glad that I got the new record player because now I know that this one's not gonna give me as much problems as my, as my other one. And also I have so many records, so it'd be a shame to, you know, have a cheap record player and not be able to play my records like I want to that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see me do more of this i definitely would be happy to um i love music i love uh old music i love classic music so you know this was a lot of fun for me to make this video and show you guys what i have yeah i hope this was helpful in some way or i hope you guys were at least entertained looking at everything that i have if you guys have any questions comments concerns comment below and i'll be happy to respond to any of your comments um so yeah thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye